Hi, Nippy Trev here, and welcome to my channel. Um, hope you get something out of it. All right, well, let's get ready for a cold start. It hasn't been started today, so I'll just pop you down there. And uh, we'll see. No, no, no starter motor fix. It could be partly that micro switch, but anyway, that was a cold start. Started pretty good. All right, I'll give it a. Now, someone said, uh, said the other day in a comment, stop using my phone when recording. Well, I don't use my phone at all. I don't even take my phone with me. Uh, the phone's sitting inside on the bench. My phone only has two purposes, well, actually three. To make and receive phone calls, to send and receive text messages, and upload YouTubes as my home internet that I use uh, takes too long to upload a YouTube. I've got a 30 minute YouTube and I try and run it through my home uh, connection. It will take me about an hour and a half to two hours. I run it through my phone connection, it's usually done in about 15 or 20 minutes max, and that's on a good 30 minute uh, YouTube, so. Beautiful Sunday morning up here in paradise. So we'll go to my normal turnaround spot. So yes, I, uh, I'm not holding a phone when I'm doing any of my recording. Basically I've got a GoPro and some a stick or something like that that I can hold with one hand. Um, I mean, I still don't want the uh, compass to see it. I do have a fixture that goes up Uh, I do have a fitting that does stick on the window of the car that I can rotate forward and backward, which I use 99.9% .9 of the time. Uh, but at the moment, because I'm freehanding between working under the bonnet and getting in the car and driving, it's easier just to use this handheld. Uh, if I'm doing any trips like to Bundy, which will be coming up to do the extractors, or maybe even out to Woodgate Beach, which I hope to get to this summer, because like we're actually having a summer. Um, I'll just mount the camera to the windscreen. There's actually a sticker. You can see suction cut marks there. So basically that's what I do. I, I mount the uh, suction cut bracket up on the window. Oh, that's weird, look at that. Right bank, all the way up. Left bank, not. That's weird. What's going on there? That gauge is going the wrong way. I've just noticed that. Look at that. So the right gauge is running hotter, and the left gauge not. I'm going to pull up in a minute and check my water. It should not. That gauge should not be looking like that. That is really weird. Like, super weird. Right gauge is doing what it normal. Look at that left gauge. That's not even coming up to operating temperature. What the fuck is going on? What the fuck is going on with this Daz boot? With Daz boot, what the fuck is going on? Oh my God, this thing just throws me curveballs every other day. Maybe you didn't like the idea I might be running out of content, and so it's decided to create another drama. So I've got content to make for you guys. All right, we're pulling over here. This is my turnaround spot. It's only about, uh, what, one, two or three miles out of town at the best. It's not far. And uh, it's always, it's close enough that I can, if I had to, I could always walk back into town, or there's a house here, I can probably get some help if I needed. So, you know, well, I'm gonna pull up and lift the bonnet, but uh, holy fuck, look at that gauge. What the hell, what the hell's going on with this fucking gauge here? That's not right. All right, bonnet check. Let's have a look.
All right, no oil dripping or leaking. Let's pull the cap. Plenty of water. And then we're messing with the gauge. See, now I don't know if I can trust that gauge or not. Oh, now it's gone up. Oh, see, all right, she's gone up now. All right, it's gone back up to where it should be. Must have just needed a wiggle and a jiggle. Sometimes things just need a wiggle and a jiggle. All right, geez, a bit traffic out today. I'm gonna to see if I can give you a button run, so how this button works. Now, I've also noticed it, when it changes, when I'm popping from uh, first to second, and basically now it goes straight through to drive, and when I re-pop the button up, she does pull back to second. Normally, I could hold in first, push the button down, like what? Right, we're in, we're in drive, button's up for um, first. Normally I'd push it down, hit second, pull straight up, she'd hold in second, push down for drive. Now I go from first down to second, she goes straight to drive, and I go pull back up, she'll kick back to, back to second. So now someone did say at the back of the auto there is that vacuum adjustment. Right, we're in first. Jump to drive, back to second, button up to second. Well, we're in drive. There we go. That's how it works. So, um, because things have changed in the auto, she now jumps from first straight to drive. And then I lift the button up and go back to second. So, there is an adjustment, as someone said, in the back of the auto. Uh, you can adjust the uh, vacuum pressure. Now, I'm not sure how that works, so if someone wants to give me a little bit more of a better explanation, that'd be good, of how I can uh, adjust all online. I might do a bit of a Google search and look online. And... Ow! And uh, just see about that. There you go, I'll just sit you guys back down there. There we go, mirror adjustment. But overall, look, it doesn't really matter. It's not a drag car. This is, basically that button is what it is. I've got an electronic kick down. And I was too lazy to wire a micro switch up behind the accelerator pedal. So I just powered up from the electronic kick down solenoid up to the stick, up to this button here, then straight across the power. So when you pull the button up, she throws you straight back into second. Or if you add a dead stop in drive, pull the button up you're in first push the button down and normally slid into second pull the button up hold in second push down the third or drive so now what's happening when I'm in first and I push the button down she slides from drive I oh, sorry she slides from first straight into drive instead of into second so that's because of vacuum whatever so if I if I knew by adjusting the vacuum screw in the back of the transmission there I can make a difference I would but it, uh, for another day and like I said it's not a drag car it's not like I have to slam through the gears and the reason I use the buck too is with this Hurst shifter I never managed to get it lined up probably I mean I can slam it back to second I can slam it back to first slam it forward into second but when I slam it forward into drive she goes straight into neutral and then I have to bang it back into drive again so instead of slamming gears and fucking underneath, fucking with the uh, selector underneath, and I spent hours and hours and hours adjusting this selector that it would work. So at the moment, I'm just happy that it selects drive, reverse, and park. Because if you don't have your uh, selector in the right way, if it's just sitting a little bit off the uh, lugs that it sits in, you can just you can basically just turn it. You can just basically destroy your transmission because they sit in these little ridges. So if you've got your cable set up, you may be in drive, but it may be one way or the other of the little ridge. Um, you can certainly do transmission damage. So at the end of the day, I've got the cable linkages set up the best I can. And instead of slamming gears, it's just easier just to pop the button up and down. This is really good if you like coming down a hill somewhere. See, so now I'm in second. Actually, she pops straight through to first then. But if you're coming down a hill and you push the button up like that, she'll drop you into second. 
and you can just take your foot off the accelerator and cruise all the way down the mountain in second gear without having to put your foot on the brake or basically, like I said, slamming gears. Back in the main street of town. The pub, last check. My sticker was still on the table. Shh, don't tell anyone. Oh. So yeah, la last check of uh, the uh, the pub. My sticker was still on the table there, so I might have to do another walk down the road tonight to see if it's still there. All right, so I'm just going to do a little bit of a drive around town, do me run out past the tip. Gauges are all running good, not running hot. I'm not, I'm not going to do any. I'll just put you down here. I'm not going to do any button up and down on this drive round. I'm just going to drive it as I would normally drive it. Just let the auto run through the gears on its own. Um, it does change first to second at a very low RPM now, a lot lower than it used to. But I, if I do hold the throttle down a bit longer, or sorry, if I do hold the See, we're in second. Right, there we go. That was drive, I think. There we go. So that's what that button's for. If she hasn't changed back to second, I'll a little bit of extra get up and go. I just pop the button, throws me in a second, I'm pulling them off and going. That's how that works. And I kind of like having a button on the shifter there. I think it's, I think it's kind of cool. job that has to be done I've already got the uh, I've got the springs here but at the moment I'm running I do have a V8 sway bar in the front of the car but what I'm still running is believe it or not I'm actually still running the original six cylinder springs so she won't kick down there on its own she didn't kick the first she only stayed in second there we go and there's a nice soft change without flogging the bags out of it so I'm still running um, the original, well not the original, but I'm still running six cylinder springs in the front of this thing. So I would like to put the V8 springs in. I guess I need a set of heavy duty front shocks. And then I'll definitely need another wheel alignment. And that's that's sort of, yeah, that is really getting the end of the, the work that needs to be done. And then everything else like that is just your normal wear and tear and maintenance unless something goes dramatically wrong. But right now the car feels really, really good. The strange noises that were in the back of the car yesterday are not there. Oh, she sounds good, doesn't she? Can you hear that? Nice soft change in the second. So unless you pull up to a dead stop, she doesn't actually drop down into first. That's where the button comes in handy. If I'm going around a corner and I'm not at a dead stop and I want to get going, I can pop the button and she will. She'll drop all the way down into first and then I can run through the gears that way. Very handy to have that button there and it's better than, I think it's better than actually having a automatic do it. I think it's better than having uh, the micro switch mounted behind this other rider pedal, I'll have complete control of when I want the kick down to happen. So instead of just sort of putting my foot down and it kicks down the gears when it wants to, I kick down the gears when I want to and it's completely at my discretion. So unless that button's pulled up and down, it will not kick down no matter how hard you put that foot on the accelerator, it will not bloody um, kick down. Well, actually, that's a lie, it does do it, but only at certain RPM it'll do it. Most of the time it doesn't, so... Having that button there literally gives me complete control of at what stage I kick down. 
car's running beautiful and quiet. My temps are all good. Three months saga, pretty much over, I think. It's been, I'm pretty sure it's been three months. It could even have been longer. I don't know, I've just lost so much track of time. And yeah, well, uh, like I said, if you wonder why I find this stressful and everything's just a, a little bit, sometimes feels a little bit too much for me, yeah, I'm, I'm like 60 years old now, and you know, like I said, five years ago, 10 years ago, you know, none of this would bother me. I'd you know, motor out in a minute, and wouldn't even hesitate. Where now, like, it's like the body hurts, everything hurts. I rely on uh, certain medications more than I ever used to. Bit of a look in the main street of town. So, uh, my sticker last check was still on the table. Oop, nah, 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 nah. Last check, my sticker was still on the table. So, yeah, so that, that's why, you know, like, I said, I don't mind being this age. Actually, I love being this age. I mean, it's great. I love being this age. I think it's great. But, at the, in saying that, um, things certainly hurt a lot more than they used to and they hurt for a lot longer than they used to and I mean I've, I've had a destroyed back uh, for about 30 years now I uh, had a tonne and a half of weight dropped on me back while I was arched backwards back when I was in my 30s and that basically fucking crippled me it was almost to a point of you know I was going to have an operation but as I said to the doctor well, I can still wipe my ass with my own two hands or one hand I can still wipe my ass with my own. If I can still wipe my own ass with my own hands, you're not sticking a knife or anything else in my back. So, and you just learn to do everything better and different. Boy, those are, what's, what's the old saying? Work smarter, not harder. So, in a lot of ways, I have learned to work smarter. And, and now I've also got the extra tools. You know, I got engine hoists, I got cranes, um, I got engine stands. You know, I've got good tools. So. That also helps, having the equipment. And like I said, oh, if I would love a twin post hoist. So if any one of you subscribers got a spare twin post hoist you don't really want and you feel generous enough to send it my way, that I would say yes to. So, run your worlds, let's uh, have a... Right our worlds, let's have a final look under the bonnet and then I can pretty much sign off on this. Like I said, you can probably do a touch more of a tune-up, a little bit of fine tuning here and there, which I will do at some stage. Water's good. Anyway, worlds. Stay safe, keep your knees in the breeze, and I'll catch you later. Bye.